Welcome back everybody, this is Dave the Gamer. Today we're gonna to be looking at 13 quality of life add-ons. I think a lot of these are very important add-ons. Not everybody believes in add-ons. Uh, I think it's crazy not to use some of these. They just give you an edge on the competition even though the game is easy. Um, why not have a little bit of an edge, especially when you're limited on time, you can only play a couple hours a day. I wanna be able to get the most out of my play time um, as possible. And we're gonna try to make this video nice and short. As always, I'm gonna put everything I speak about in the description with timestamps. So if you wanna just jump ahead to the add-on and hear about just that one, or if you just wanna look at the list of 13 I'm talking about and not listen to me ramble on, either one's fine with me. But starting off, number one, in flight. In flight, I love it, it's a little add-on. You just click on it, boom, when I jump somewhere, you can see the little time bar showing me, you know, seven minutes so I get to Booty Bay. So this means seven minutes I can go do my laundry, I can uh, hang out with my girlfriend, you know, she gets seven minutes a day, or mainly just while I'm in flight. So it's very crucial to have this add-on. Uh, number two, extended character sheet. Extended character sheet, when you go in, as you see this little sheet here, uh, it's gonna show me you know, how much my hit bonus is, my crit, shows me defense, my mana regen, you know, spell crits there. Shows you a lot more than it does on just your regular simple sheet that gives you pretty much no information. So it's nice to know, uh, you know exactly how much crit or how much hit you have. Super simple, lightweight add-on to have. Number three fade world timers so if you ever wonder how people are tracking the world buffs and everything else like that as you see when i go to org i can see uh the next oni head can drop in two hours 33 minutes um nef is 34 minutes and this one doesn't have a timer on it so sometimes early in the morning they won't have timers yet until someone drops it and then another person has this add-on and it tracks from that time on but this really helps me plan out when I'm getting all my world buffs for raids. Highly recommend it. At least someone you know have this if you plan on getting serious with anything in the raiding. Four, unit scan. Unit scan is a great add-on. What it does is it scans within a couple hundred yards of you a certain mob or whatever. So a lot of guilds will use this for tracking world bosses. You could also use it for if you want to go for the title charm and you have to track um, whatever the prince is. You can set the unit scan to his name. So when he appears, it flashes the screen red. You can turn a sound on. It makes a sound. So if you're just watching Netflix, it pops up. It notifies you like hey he, he's in this area I don't know the exact distance of how far it pulls from but if you're serious about getting any rare mob especially if you're trying to get like a special hunter pet or the world bosses it's definitely a great add-on to get number five item rack item rack what I love about item rack is you can come in here and you can modify it to different sets so like I have a farming set and then I have like a PVP set. And what it, what's really nice is you can key bind it to a setting on your keyboard. So with one button push, as long as your other items are in your inventory, it can swap to everything. So another place this might be useful is in MC, where a lot of the, the packs you'll fight, like everybody wants to put fire resist on. You can hit one button and automatically switch out, you know, eight, nine pieces of gear, hit the other button, switch back. So it's instant switching of sets, super easy to set up. It does have different events, like if I was going to use my uh, evocation to equip something with more spirit, so I get more out of it. But I don't know, I find a lot of these don't work as good, a little buggy, some of them do do the queue where uh, after I use a you know say a trinket that it swaps to a different trinket I never find that this actually works so instead of using this one so number six is going to be trinket menus slash trinket menu is going to pop up these little uh, bars right here it's gonna help you track all of your trinkets great for PvP if you're switching between you know different reflectors and whenever something's on cooldown it's one click switch to it um, 
for whatever reason, it's a little buggy on this character. It works perfect on all of my other characters. Makes no sense. Maybe I need to update it. Uh, but you can actually move these wherever you want and it's easy to track. So I use that instead of uh, the Q for item rack. That doesn't seem to work very well. So I have both item rack and trinket menu and use trinket menu specifically for just uh, controlling all of my trinkets. Number seven is a bag add-on that I always use. So, but in the past I used to use bag brother or uh, bag on, but this new one here, as you see on the screen is great. Uh, it gives you a lot more ability to customize how your bags are and uh, also controlling your bank. So what I like is one button that cleans all the items, it puts things in order. So if everything's all messed up, one click, if you got OCD, organizes it. You can search for items, whatever the heck you want. Um, that's in, like I said, that's in your bags, that's in your bank. Great add-on, it's my favorite add-on for uh, bags overall. Number eight, my favorite add-on there is in the game, TSM4. I've made a couple hour long videos on these. So if you want to uh, really maximize your efficiency when it comes to uh, auction add-ons and making a ton of gold, I highly recommend checking those out. Uh, some of the cool features, I'll go over a couple features. Like I said, I could go on forever for this because I really enjoy this add-on. Um, but what I like is when you hover over an item, it shows what's the minimum buyout, the market value on your server, along with all servers. So you can see if something's being overpriced on our server. A lot of times people try to fluff up price and you wait a week and, it, and you can buy it at the actual market value. So make sure you don't get kind of like scammed on buying stuff. It also shows you how many you have on your character and all of your characters. Shows when's the last time you sold it you know, how much you can craft something for. Like I see here, I can, you know, TSM crafting, if you look down to the bottom there, crafting costs two gold, 30 silver. I can sell it for two, um, I can sell it for almost five gold right now. It's inflated pretty heavy, but they are selling on my server. So it's a two gold, 70 silver profit. That's great. So it lets you know everything you want on items. Um, some other cool things is when you get into professions, you can create like crafting cues. So if I wanted to create, you know, 10 bags of this, five of this, I can create a massive queue over here and just keep clicking craft next. So what I do is uh, when I'm going to, like I usually craft like, like mainly potions, like once a week or something like that. I create a massive crafting list, throw on some Netflix and just every once in a while craft next. That's it, super easy. And it just makes it so I'm not having to search every time for what I'm looking to craft next. And then also it gives you like a ledger where it shows you how much gold estimated value across all of your characters. You can filter by, you know, what's the most you have or where's all of your money at. So I like that. Also, you can set up groups. Like I said, it's, it's a very detailed uh, add on. There's lots to it takes a little bit to learn so you do want to watch a couple of videos but once you're up and running it gives you such an edge on everybody else like your different herbs it shows you you know you can one click search for all of these items so i set something up soon i'm going to have a tbc investment item so stay tuned for that one uh, but we'll move on number nine bump b-u-m-p and it's such a simple little add-on all it does is when you leave a raid or a dungeon it gives you in your chat box it's going to show you how much gold you earned throughout that entire time along with how much rep you earned so i personally i like little add-ons like this i just like to know as much information as possible so i, I want to know how much you know how much rep am i getting per run if i'm doing five, four runs an hour how much gold am i getting per run like it, it gives me an idea is something worth doing or not number 10 five second roll so as you see this little bar that keeps going across here Every time it ticks is like, if you were drinking, that's when you would get the mana. So if I was to cast a spell, you see it, that's counting down the five seconds, and then boom, now you're getting the passive mana back. So this is great for healers that need to do something, like to be able to maximize, uh, you know, in between heals, along with even uh, caster DPS. This lets me know, I use this a lot for AOE farming. 
Um, if I'm, you know, if I'm low on mana, I could ice Nova and then wait for this to go out. Okay, okay, get a you know, run around a little bit, get a little bit of mana back. Okay, and then right there is when I would cast the next ability. So I got two ticks of mana back before I cast it. Little micromanagement like that definitely helped, especially in a massive AOE pool. So I highly recommend it. It's a nice little add-on. Number eleven, speedy auto loot. So. Um, Leatrix Plus has something uh, kind of on the same lines as a fast auto loot, but I found that this add-on additionally with it actually works a little faster than Leatrix Plus. It won't even show me the loot menu, it just automatically loots everything. So once again, when you're doing massive AoE pulls and you have a ton of mobs around, it makes it much smoother when you have to pick a ton of items up. You know, it's shaving a minute or two minutes off when you're looting, you know, 60, 70 mobs. Number 12 farm log so i recently just got one of this and uh one of my buddies on discord uh i have a discord channel uh so if you ever want to jump on there message me super active within my community and uh what farm log does is you can actually click on this you click the little plus sign to reset it but when you're farming different mobs it gives you a list of how many different whatever mob their name is what loot you got off them you can pause and start it and it lets you track over the hour you know how many so a lot of times when i do like a two hour testing i let this thing run for two hours and then i come in here i see what all loot i got how much gold per hour i got you know what items i got it just gives you so much information so if you do a lot of mob grinding and stuff like this this is almost a must have if you really want to see between you know 10 different methods what is the best way number 13 neat plates so neat plates it just basically lets you modify your name uh, your plate along with whatever you know the the mob is its plate and what i like to it is when i cast like a cone of cold on something it puts the debuff above its name so when i'm like right now i'm doing a ton of zg croc pulling i need to know when i can cast my next cone of cold so i can see right on the bar how like it's counting down when the next uh cone of cold i can cast so I've, i find that to be very handy um to have as far as an add-on tons of different things neat plates can actually do for you i personally just use it for tracking like cone of cold you can go in and modify all kinds of different things but if you enjoyed this video and other videos over here to the right you're going to see two other videos that i think you're going to enjoy there are 12 total add-ons part one part two that every person that should download. They're really gonna give you an upper edge on anybody that doesn't have those. So make sure you check out those videos. And as always, game on.